Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, James McFarley, and this is Channel 101 News. We turn quickly to the aftermath of a terrible trolley accident earlier today that left two children dead. A reporter on the scene, Veronica Cornickstone, has that story. Veronica? Thanks, James. I'm on the scene right now. Reportedly, an elementary school got out early and children were playing on trolley tracks. A controversial situation arose when a bystander, Billy O'Connell, had the opportunity to redirect the trolley from hitting five children and instead diverting its course to hit only two. Let's see what he was thinking when he made this decision. Billy? You no, know, Veronica, I just saw an opportunity to save some lives. I didn't know any of these kids. I knew that the trial would kill any of them on impact, so I was really just trying to min minimize the number of lives caused for this community. At the end of the day, it's all about sending the most people home to their families. I wouldn't say I'm a hero, but I think someone else mentioned it to me earlier. Now that sounds a lot like a utilitarian argument, Veronica. For those of you at home who haven't studied normative ethics, the utilitarian argument places the value of a mor moral decision on creating the most utility or pleasure for the most amount of people. Billy's actions have caused quite the controversy, however. Let's go back to some of the other witnesses on the scene. Thanks, James. Another witness, Mr. Smith, actually saw the tragedy happen from inside the school. Mr. Smith, what were you thinking when this happened? I think what Billy did was a disgusting thing. I consider myself to be a Kantian thinker, and just the fact that Billy took an active part in the death of those two kids is absolutely horrible. He used those two innocent children as pawns. Why should he be able to choose who lives and who dies? He's playing God here. Just horrible, really. Those kids were on top of their, they were the top of their class. Just to clarify, Mr. Smith, you feel that Billy had a morally obligated duty to not be directly involved in these deaths? and that by making that decision, it's unforgivable? Yeah, his actions are morally unjust and can't justify the consequences. Who knows what these kids would have grown up to be or how far reaching these consequences might be. Sounds to me like an issue of intentions and priorities, both trying to save the most amount of people and respecting these children's humanity. This sounds like a question that will be debated as we go forward. Next up, Roombas take over the world.